Hi, I'm Lynn Clark, and I'm a master's student at Derry Galway. Today I'll be showing you how to install Drupal 7 using the Acquia Drupal Stack Installer. First, we need to go to Acquia's website and download the Stack Installer. That's acquia.com slash downloads. And the Stack is uh, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. Um, those servers are needed so that you can actually run a Drupal site on your local machine. That makes it a lot easier than trying to run it on a remote development environment. Even if you already have a local de development environment with those servers set up, I would recommend uh, using the Acquia Stack Installer for these tutorials just to make sure that you have the same development environment as the one that I'm demonstrating. So I'm going to go ahead and download the installer for Mac. They also have it for Windows and Ubuntu. So now I have the download package. I'm going to open it up and go ahead and get this installation going. And this is the list of packages that it's going to install for you. Go ahead and accept the terms of the license agreement. And these are the default locations where it will save the applications and also your first site, which it will install for you. And these are the default ports. Uh, these ports have been selected by Acquia to make sure that they don't conflict with other servers like MAMP that you may have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and use those defaults. And you can fill out this information for your first Drupal site. Otherwise, you would actually have to use the Drupal installer to do this. So now the stack is fully installed and we're ready to check out the Drupal 6 website that it installed for us. So this is the Drupal 6 site, but we actually want a Drupal 7 site. We want to see what the new functionality in Drupal 7 is. So we'll have to go and get the alpha version of Drupal 7. So we'll search for Drupal 7 alpha and find the alpha release and download it. We're just using Drupal 7 alpha because alpha is the most current version as of this recording. But if there's a newer version, uh, go ahead and, and use that one instead. So now we have our Drupal 7 folder. We're going to put it in the Sites folder. I like to put all my Acquia Drupal sites together. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And now I can go into the Acquia control panel and go into Settings, Sites, and click Import to get my Drupal 7 folder all set up. Uh, I'm going to choose the Drupal 7 folder as my root and create a new database. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a subdomain. See that uh, shows up in the site URL. And it's going to restart Apache. And now I'm to the Drupal installer to install my Drupal site. I'm using the standard install profile and installing in English. And right now it's verifying the requirements um, such as file permissions and it's setting up my database. And now uh, it's installing the modules in their tables. And now all I have to do is fill in this site information form. And I will have a brand new Drupal 7 site. And here we go. Here's our brand new Drupal 7 site and we can do whatever we want with it.